everyone, my name is Nikita. I am head of business development for the Yandex Games platform. I think Moby Dictum is doing a great job. We visited Moby Dictum conference in Izmir some time ago, and now we're very happy to be here in Istanbul. And it seems that Batuhan and his team did a great job. And for now, he's scaling the conference. We see a lot of different developers and publishers from all over the world. Yesterday, we had a great dinner. It was also very pleasant to be there. We'll see because for now, the conference only started, but we already have a lot of meetings and networking. So that's great. We wish just best of luck to the Moby Dictum team to keep growing and to have a great business. As for the Yandex games, we work closely with the Turkish market, with the Turkish publishers and game developers, and basically we help them to grow their business, providing them with additional source of revenue from publishing their games on the web and such platforms as Yandex Games, so that's great. Hello everyone, this is Boris Özistek from Boğaziçi Ventures. I am the managing partner of Boğaziçi Ventures. We are one of the most active venture capital companies in Turkey. We are, gaming is one of our focus area. We are investing from early stage to growth stage and late stage investment in technology, disruptive innovation areas. But gaming is, first of all, I, me and my partners, Passion. We had a gaming company in the past, we exited, then we entered the investment industry. That, that's why we know gaming, we understand the gamers, we understand the uh, developers, and we are passionate to be partner uh, in their journey. Our most active fund is BB Growth, it's an early stage tech investment fund, and almost half of the fund is uh, dedicated, deployed to the gaming companies. On the other hand, we are also establishing late stage funds, so recently we just announced, indeed, in Moby Dictum, we announced our new fund, which is a joint game pre-IPO uh, venture capital fund. Its sole purpose uh, is to invest joy game at a pre-IPO stage. Joy game is one of the uh, one of the first and leading gaming companies in Turkey, having more uh, having around 19 studios developing uh, mobile games in hybrid, casual, casual, RPG, and publishing them globally. So uh, it's growing uh, very fast, and we are hoping to help Joy Game uh, to be a partner with Joy Game during their uh, IPO journey. So hopefully Joy Game will be uh, the first listed Turkish game company in the uh, stock exchange. And through this fund, everyone will be able to be a partner with Joy Game. So we launched it at Moby Dictum, that's the first announcement. And coming uh, to the Moby Dictum uh, event. So Moby Dictum was very impressive uh, last year. All our hope, all industry hope was the same for 2023 and thanks to the great organization we uh, we see a huge participation from Turkey and also from uh, abroad uh, the investors startups game companies game technology providers partners everyone is here at Moby Dictum so I'm really uh, happy to, uh, to participate by the way uh, we are one of the sponsors in Moby Dictum even our books uh, you can see there was the Ventures and Joy Game Book. So uh, we are happy to participate and meet uh, with everyone. And there are lots of people, uh, lots of colleagues here trying to catch up the meetings, but still we may uh, miss some of the meetings. The, here is so crowded, but very efficient uh, meetings. That's why we are happy to be here. Merhabalar, ben Ece. Udo Games'te iki yıldır Growth Specialist olarak çalışıyorum. Genel olarak oyunların Growth tarafıyla, Monetization ve UA tarafıyla ilgileniyorum. Moby Dictum bu yılda gerçekten geçen yılki kadar çok güzel. Bizim için etkinlikteki en önemli şey networking'ti her zamanki gibi ve birçok çalıştığımız network'le bir araya gelmiş olmak ve yüz yüze buluşmuş, buluşmuş olmak bizim için çok önemliydi. Bunu bize sağladığı için çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Seneye tekrar görüşmek üzere. <gülüyor> Hi, I'm Alex Pitaway and I'm the head of growth at Maloco. So it's been really interesting, I think, that it's fantastic to have lots of different game developers um, from all over Turkey come together. So I think it's been really great to meet lots of indie devs and also students. And from this, I'm, I'm really keen to get, have a bit of knowledge sharing and learning from some of the, the freshest minds in Turkey. You know, it's been a really great day one and I'm excited to see the talks tomorrow in, gate, in day two, especially about AI, I think, is what I'm really interested to learn more about.
Merhabalar, ben İlknur. Pantheon'da 2014 yılından beri insan kaynakları müdürü olarak çalışıyorum. Şu an aktif olarak geliştirdiğimiz 3 tane oyunumuz var. Bir tane casual e, tower defense oyunu yapıyoruz. Bir tane VR oyunu geliştiriyoruz. Bir tane de 4x strateji oyunu geliştiriyoruz. VR oyunumuz yakında hizmetinizde olacak. Uzun zaman sonra e, yayınlamış olacağız oyunumuzu. Çok keyifli bir oyun. Zaten casual oyunumuzu store'da şu an oynayabilirsiniz. Island Defense. Keyifli bir oyun tavsiye ederim herkese. Mobilictum çok keyifli bir süreç oluyor bizim için. Çünkü burada insanlarla kaynaşıyoruz, yeni stüdyolarla kaynaşıyoruz, networkler kuruyoruz. O yüzden her sene katılmayı seviyoruz. Umarım seneye de görüşürüz. Hoşçakalın. Ben Gökhan Çokeçeci, Leke Games'in kurucu ortaklarındanım. Bir sene önce başladığımız bu macerada artık ufak ufak belli sonuçlar elde etmeye başladık. Burada Moby Dick Düğüm fuarına katılarak da hem brandingimize bir katkıda bulunuyoruz hem de bu ay aslında duyurusunu yaptığımız, daha doğrusu burada da artık katkılarına ve startını verdiğimiz Publisher tarafına geçiş yapıyoruz. Moby Dick Düğüm fuarıyla da aslında hem indie developerlarla hem de Publisher arayan diyorlarla buluşma fırsatı yakaladık. Şu anda casual oyun tarafında ilerliyoruz. İki tane de oyunumuz var. Bu oyunlardan bir tanesi TDZ Racing kategorisinde. Bir diğeri de Defense of the Kings, Tower Defense kategorisinde yer alıyor. Aslında piyasada şu anda birçok publisher var fakat bunların çoğu bildiğiniz üzere Hyper Casual üzerinde hizmet veriyor. Biz de piyasadaki aslında bu açığı kapatmak istiyoruz. Yani Casual kategorisinde bir publisher neden olmasın? Bizim bu konuda artık belli bir know-how'umuz var, belli bir gücü, gücümüz var. Burada aslında stüdyolara ve yeni developerlara destek olmak için buradayız artık. Aslında bu, bu sene ilk defa katıldık ve katılım aslında çok güzel. Branding olarak e, çok güzel geçiyor, katılımcılar çok güzel, çok güzel feedbackler alıyoruz. Çok güzel e, aslında işbirlikleri olanakları sunuyor. Hatta bugün iki tane işbirliği yapmış olduk burada. E, o açıdan çok güzel yani. Eke Games aslında bahsettiğim gibi iki tane oyunumuz var ve şu anda soft launch aşamasındayız. Ee, oyunlarımızdan bir tanesi geçen hafta bütün dünyada Top Chart'a girdi. Bu da artık Leke Games'in artık e, belli bir noktayı açtığını ve zaman içerisinde Leke Games'in adını daha çok duyacağımız anlamına geliyor. E, hem publishing tarafının startıyla hem de oyunlarımızın artık değerlerinin bir noktaya gelmesiyle buna sonra bence Leke Games'in adını daha çok duyuyor olacağız. Hello everyone, this is Elayda and I'm the country manager for Turkey and for the MENA region at Exola. Exola is an international game commerce company with powerful set of tools and solutions that are specifically designed for the gaming industry. My primary role within the company is establishing strategic partnership within this specific region. I'm very enthusiastic about uh, establishing new part partnerships within Turkey and within the MENA region and we are very happy to be contributing to new opportunities and valuable partnerships within this region. My speech at this morning, it was a blast. We had a very nice audience attending to the events, uh, attending to the session. I had a chance to share more on maximizing revenue potential through direct-to-consumer practices. And the audience was, of course, very eager to learn more about the alternative monetization methods and new practices to drive more revenue growth and more engagement. It's always great to get together with the industry experts, professionals and enthusiasts from the gaming industry. And Moby Dictum Conference is one of the best events gathering the community together. It plays a crucial role exchanging the information, trends and best practices over the past year. And uh, especially for this year's event, we have very high expectations because we've been seeing a new trend and some transitions within the industry. So we are very excited to share those knowledges from uh, different partners within uh, different projects. And we are looking forward to discover new projects and catch up with our existing partners. While I cannot disclose all the details yet, I'm very excited to share that as Exala we are expanding our global presence. We recently established new offices in Japan and have formed very valuable partnerships with notable organizations like Crypto.com and AppsFlyer. Personally, I'm dedicated to further expand our footprint in Turkey as well as in the MENA region and we are looking for new opportunities to collaborate with local organizations and developers in this region. I'm Nick. I'm the business development manager at Sunday. Benim adım da Bergsu. Ben de Sunday'de partnerships manager olarak çalışıyorum. Um, well, first of all, it's my first time to Moby Dictum, so my first time to Istanbul. So thank you for having me in your wonderful city. 
and the conference is going well so far. Really hoping to connect with some really nice studios and looking to work with the studios in the, the future. Yeah. Istanbul, Turkey, bizim için çok önemli bir market ve çok fazla partner stüdyomuz var. Çok fazla Türk de çalışıyor sende de zaten. Biz orada iyi bir komüniteyiz. O yüzden e, Mobi Dükküm'e gelmek bizim için bütün buradaki partnerlerimizle, yeni partnerlerle var e, hazırda olan partnerlerle görüşmemizi sağlıyor. Aynı zamanda İstanbul'da biz aktif olarak da çalışmak istiyoruz. O yüzden de yeni bir ofis açacağız sende olarak İstanbul ofisimiz olacak. Heyecanlıyız. So I think uh, Berk should touch on the fact that we will be opening an office soon yeah. in Istanbul. So yeah. hopefully you can also apply and feel free to come to the next Moby Dictum and you'll find us at our booth. Yes. Görüşürüz. Her zaman seneye de görüşürüz. Goodbye from Sunday. <gülüyor> Ciao. Merhaba, ben Edge Aslan Mert. Bu sene de Mobile Diktum'a katıldık diğer senelerde olduğu gibi. Aslında Mobile Diktum'u diğerlerinden ayıran kısım şöyle ki her sene yeni insanlarla tanışmak, bütün ekosistemin burada toplanması bir yana her geldiğimizde farklı stüdyoların, farklı bu işe yeni giren, bu sektöre yeni girmek isteyenlerle konuştuktan sonra aslında seneden seneye onların bir şeyler yaptığını görmek, herkese yardımcı olup herkese dokunuyor olmak tekrar bu sene de çok harika bir duygu. Sonrakilerde de görüşmek üzere. Hi, I'm Roy Nam, CEO and founder of Airbridge. Airbridge is a mobile measurement partner helping mobile apps to measure and optimize their digital advertising. Well, Moby Dictum 2023 is great. It's really with a lot of like people from all around these countries and especially is a good chance to really feel the vibe and a culture of Turkish uh, mobile gaming and PC console gaming industry. So it's, it's really full of uh, great joy and a lot of these opportunities to meet with the people. I really love the Moby Dictum conference and definitely I believe I'm going to come again next year. Hi everyone, this is Furkan. I'm from Apps Flyer. I've been working at Apps Flyer for the last three years. I'm uh, heavily interested in gaming market and I've been working with gaming studios for a long time already. This is my second time at Moby Dictum Istanbul. I guess we've been in other Moby Dictum events in uh, other cities and other occasions. So far the event has been great. I'm very proud of Moby Dictum team as a Turkish person. I've been uh, attending events all over the, the world and uh, it's very happy to see that a Turkish company came up with a world scale event. Especially, what, I guess the part that was the best for me was the executive dinner that we had yesterday. It was amazing. Not only the venue, food, etc., but it was awesome to just talk to people. The networking part was great. So yeah, thanks everyone who participated in this and uh, see you next year.